If you want to make a better sound on sax, but you're bored of playing long notes in isolation, do this five minute play along workout at the start of each practice session and your control, stamina and sound will all get way better. All right, let's get started. Hi, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and on this channel I release a lesson every week to help you become a better sax player and overall musician. So hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future lessons. So to help develop a great sound on the sax, you may have heard that you should play long notes. Uh, this is definitely one of the best ways to build up your control and stamina as it builds strength in the muscles that make up your embouchure. However, I find that most of my students find it pretty boring um, and it's not that musical. Uh, so they quickly neglect it and they don't do it every day. I'm definitely guilty of uh, not doing this every day myself. Um, so what I've created here is a backing track where we've set these long notes to some really big lush jazz harmonies. Um, and it can be really fun to hear how the quality of the note changes as the chords underneath it change. Now I'm going to play these exercises on alto sax. If you play soprano or tenor sax, you can get a free transposed version uh, for both the falling and the rising exercises. Uh, along with a PDF of the music. And these backing tracks uh, are also available to download for alto sax too. The link to get all of this is down in the description below. The idea behind these exercises is pretty simple. Um, in the first one, we're gonna be holding each note for eight beats and move chromatically down, meaning B, B flat, A, A flat, etc. Um, and the second one will start on the note B and then rise chromatically. So B, C, C sharp, D. Uh, don't worry if you don't know how to play all these notes um, as I'll be showing you them uh, on my sax as we go. Um, if you're fairly new to the sax, don't worry if you can't make it all the way through. Um, you may find that your lips start to get really tired. Uh, now that's actually a good thing as it means you're really working those muscles in the embouchure. Um, and you'll find that if you try playing along with this exercise each day, uh, you'll gradually be able to get further and further along as your stamina control uh, increases. Okay, so the first exercise uh, is the falling one, um, and we'll be starting on the note B.
Okay, that's it for this week. Uh, let me know in the comments how you got on with this one. Remember, don't worry at all uh, if you can't make it all the way through. This is a really challenging workout. Uh, remember, consistency is the key, so try to do this one every day. Remember to grab your free tracks and PDF downloads from the link down in the description below, and I'll see you all next week.